welcome to another episode of Behind the Ink, where we tell you the story of the fastest growing trend among young adults, tattoos. Today we'll be looking at Samantha's story, as well as talking to our friend Brian at Stigmata Tattoo in Guelph. Let's take a look. Downtown Guelph is home to many tattoo shops. Stigmata Body Art has been open in Guelph since 1999. Brian has been tattooing at Stigmata for the past five years, though has been a tattoo artist for the past 16. It's an honor. It's, it really is. It, you know, to have somebody come in, I may never have met them. Uh, they don't know anything about me. You know, they check out my book. Um, to give them an I idea that I'm able to do things, but to have them trust me to do something that means so much to them, it's, it's really an honor. So. Brian makes it clear that his passion for tattooing comes from the meaning he can give to his clients. I take influences from all over the, the spectrum of craft and fine art, which I do differentiate between the two. Tattooing is more of a craft than it is an art form. A lot of tattooers are going to hate me for saying that, but um, it's, it's a craft mostly because people come in and get me to use my ability to uh, enable their expression on their body. This uh, young woman came in who had issues when she was born. Um, she had to have uh, some of her organs removed, so they, as a baby they cut her from sternum around to the tailbone removes all the organs that wouldn't work and then stitched her up solid and had uh, two tubes out uh, of her abdomen for waste and that's how she lived her life up until she was 26 and then she came in the shop and wanted me to tattoo a belly button on her. So I gave her a belly button. Creating tattoos means just as much to Brian as it does his clients. After it was all over she looked in the mirror and started crying and dancing and said, I've never felt closer to my mother. Samantha is a first year student at Conestoga College. She has a total of six tattoos. Her most meaningful, her father's signature. After he passed, she decided it was the perfect way to remember him. My father's signature, and that was based off of the last birthday card and postcard that he gave me. Um, so that's his writing. As well as her family is for my family, is four arrows, so each of the arrows represent a member of my family. Brenda Gibson, Samantha's mother, explained her feelings about the tattoo. I thought it was a nice way that she would memorialize him, and it was something that she had chosen to do, so it wasn't something that I had, she'd come to speak to me about, but it was, uh, it, I think it's nice. I, th I think it's become, uh, tattooing is far more ubiquitous than it ever has been. It's just, it's so everywhere that uh, there's not as much of a, a stigma to it as it was in, in the past. So people are less afraid of being labeled negatively. Tattoos aren't just for aesthetics. It's about coping and creating long-lasting memories for the client. 